Oh, a record high in November. Uh, it's, we're spending, construction spending is going ahead at an annual rate of $1.26 trillion. Come in, Michael Bellman, Associated Builders and Contractors CEO. All right, Michael, what, uh, that, that was a record in November, and I believe it was the result of a specific act or a specific change that the president made. Tell me about it, please. Well, first of all, it, it's the highest spend that we've had since 2007, 2008. It's, it's absolutely terrific. The culture of the real estate and construction industry is totally transformed uh, with this presence. All business friendly. Everybody's ready to invest. Tax policy. It's all good. Now, the construction industry is pretty much in a boom uh, phase at the moment, if I can put it like that. Uh, do you have, and, and here comes the infrastructure plan shortly, mm. do you have the skilled labor required to carry out the infrastructure plan and keep the construction boom going? Do you have enough workers? Stuart, that's a great question. The last time we were at this peak, we employed about 500,000 people more than we are currently. If we get infrastructure, that's another 700,000. We have got a challenge. But our industry is ripe for disruptive technology. We have shifted from time-based apprenticeship training to competency-based training programs. We are starting to get this message out that careers in construction are awesome. We've got a little bit of time. There's a couple other things that the president and Congress can do to stimulate fair and open competition so that we can bring but, all Americans to the table. Well, what about immigration? Would you like to see more immigrants, skilled immigrants, coming into the construction industry? Well, I think immigration, obviously, is a topic that is going to be addressed uh, here uh, this year. It's got to be. Uh, the H-2B visa process is what the construction industry uses quite a bit. Would we like to see uh, those terms, uh, you know, increase from three years to, to more? Sure. Uh, would we like to see the cap increase? Sure. But, you know, with the numbers we're talking about, this is just one element to help stimulate uh, employment in our industry. So can I leave it at this? The construction industry is in boom times. Is that accurate? Yes, it is, and wage growth is coming, and it already has happened in 2017. More to come. Okay, and there are, I think, about 30,000 new construction jobs just in the month of December. There you have it. Uh, Michael Bellman, thank you very much for joining us, sir. We appreciate it, and we'll see you again soon. Got it. Thank you. Uh-oh.